As part of a tech preview for this release, we've enhanced IFC export to support the IFC 4x3 Release Candidate 4. So here on the home page, we're just going to uh, access the export to IFC um, dialog. Now, in the past versions, we've supported IFC 2x3 as well as IFC 4. And now you'll notice we're also supporting IFC 4x3, which is Release Candidate 4. Now, there's a couple of options here uh, when you select this 4x3. You've got Include Corridor Alignments, and you also have the ability to include corridor uh, semantics. Now, semantics are something that we introduced in a previous build, and that is the ability to uh, apply these special uh, semantic properties to a corridor so that it knows what the individual pieces are. So you can see here under the semantic properties, it's no, it knows that's a sidewalk. If I was to come right here, uh, it knows that this here is a curb. If I was to come over to here, it knows that this individual piece here is part of a, uh, a median. So these are properties that have already been tagged uh, to the um, corridor. So what you can do is you can choose to include them or not. So let's look at a couple of different workflows. Let's first leave this off and uh, I'm just going to say okay and it's going to read all the corridors here. Okay and uh, I'm going to create a file and let's just call this one no uh, semantics. Okay and we will save that one. Now let's do it again and this time let's include the corridor semantics. and we'll just call this one uh, semantics okay now let's come in and look at both of these let's start first with no semantics so I'm just going to open up this with the uh, free BIM vision viewer and so you can see in the IFC file you can see the two corridors you can notice that you know everything comes across uh, you know very nicely now over here in this table format something you'll notice because I didn't use the semantics um, what it does it just under the name of the individual component it just uses the the feature name that's all it really has to um, you know that's all it really has to to go by is the uh, feature name now if I drill down into one of these you get all the different properties um, for that you know for that particular component everything is is there now let's go look at the one with semantics and you can see graphically they they look the same what's different now is if we come over here for example this particular corridor here and I drill down now you'll see you can specify here's the sidewalk right uh, here's the uh, here's the, the the median right different parts of this um, are available to us as what they are as opposed to just the um, just the feature name now you'll notice that in that scenario um, I got both of the corridors if you want to get corridors individually uh, you have to use name boundaries so here for example I've created uh, name boundaries. Now I could have a single name boundary around this corridor. In my case, I've got two name boundaries and I just named that the name boundary group bottom corridor. And so I'm going to export this one out. Okay, and it's going to ask me a name and I'm just going to call it bottom corridor, right? But notice when I go look at it that I got a bottom corridor one, which is the first name boundary and I got a bottom corridor 2 which is the second name boundary so if I open up the first one notice I only got the bottom corridor and I only got the first part of it that was encompassed by the um, you know by the name uh, boundary if I went and looked at bottom corridor 2 I would get the uh, the second part of that corridor okay and I would see all the properties and everything uh, for it as as well 